Hi, everybody. Well, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm always a person who is thought to try and uphold some integrity, right? Some integrity. And I, <laughs> I get so frustrated and disgusted by people out there doing things on TikTok or YouTube that are completely outrageous, can possibly hurt people, can endanger people, just to get views. And unfortunately, it's now coming to cruises. So I don't know if you remember this or not, or if you followed any of this in the social media aspects, but at one point, a big thing was, remember the pictures of the first girl who went in and went into a grocery store, took out a tub of ice cream, opened it up, licked it, sealed it back up and put it back on the shelf for somebody to buy. Well, that, first of all, completely disgusting. She's a disgusting person. Let's put it right there. Doing something like that, uh, you know, is beyond disgusting to me. Low life, low life person. Well, that started off a trend of other low life people out there looking for that, what they call clout on the internet, looking for those views. And it doesn't matter if they're views from people liking what they're doing, it's just to get the views of people, right? It's just to get the eyeballs on them, to grow their brand, whatever their brand may be. Their brand could be, we're a disgusting person. And bam, 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 it started popping up everywhere. of People doing all kinds of things, opening up mouthwash and spitting in the mouthwash and closing it, putting it back on. Like just disgusting, disgusting things. So much so that some stores in the United States had to go out and actually lock their ice cream up. That's right, they locked their ice cream freezers and you had to ask for them to get the ice cream open. That's how bad it got at one point. Well, somebody's trying to start that on cruises now. And if you go on a cruise in your stateroom, you will often see large bottles of water sitting on your desk. And these are sometimes part of your perks package if you're a certain loyalty member, but say it's your first cruise you get on there, it will clearly state that these water bottles are for sale. Well, somebody doesn't like to pay the four, five, six dollars for that big, large water bottle, and they've discovered a hack. And they put this out on social media where you see them opening the water bottle, and then the water bottle is empty. They go over to a sink, they fill it up, they close it back up, they take a little bit of glue, reseal the top of the glue and then put the label back on the bottle and put it back on the shelf. So you're now getting tap water instead of the bottled water that you are purchasing if you're the next person on that ship. Again, like, come on, come on, first of all, all right, it is theft. You're stealing that bottle of water, right? It's just like going into a grocery store, taking the bottle out, drinking it, and then putting an empty bottle back on. Even though you didn't leave the store, you still drunk that water, you still owe that money. It's theft. Second of all, you're now giving an inadequate product to the next person. You're passing on your behavior to somebody else, right? Also, that leaves the question of, well, if this can go on, what are people possibly putting in that, not just tap water, right? What about people putting some 
drugs in there of some kind? What about people just putting a little bit of urine in that water and resealing it and putting it back in? Uh, just a touch of urine won't show up. Like the implications of showing this on social media that this is what you can do to save $4.50, people. You're on a cruise. You're paying thousands of dollars for a cruise and you're saving $4.50 by doing something that will affect another passenger. I don't get it. I just don't get people who do things like this. I don't understand. I've never once thought in my life that, you know what, I'm going to steal the water in that sealed water bottle, fill it with other people's water and give it to the next person so I can save $4. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? And unfortunately, this was a trend before with the licking of the ice cream. And the problem with showing it on social media is other people get the bright idea. Hey, that video has like a hundred and some thousand views on it. If I do something disgusting like that and really, really creepy on my next cruise, I might get 200,000 views or a million views. And so they're looking now for things that they can do on the cruise ship and get away with it and show people something that's absolutely disgusting. I don't get it. You know what? If you want to do these kind of gross things and stupid things out there, like refilling water bottles and leaving it for other passengers, can you please just do it somewhere other than my cruise ships? Can you please just leave cruise ships alone? They have enough issues out there with cruise ports and guidelines and rules and all these things. They don't need idiots like you going out and doing disgusting things on their cruise ships for views. You really don't. So please, just asking you, please, can you please just not do this on the cruise ships? Please.